food, did you know? What sort of food? Peanuts. Um, I remember we always had lots of vegetables. Hmm. Lots of vegetables. Anything like potatoes? Yeah, potatoes, cabbage, swedes, and that sort of stuff. And also remember, because of the war, there wasn't a lot of meat about, mm. unless you had money. And we used to eat a lot of rabbit, a lot of rabbit. And I also remember a thing called powdered egg. It used to come in big tins, it was like a, a yellow powder. And that used to come from Canada. Because certain people in Canada and America, they sort of adopted a family mm -hmm. and they used to send food parcels and things over. So we used to eat um, scrambled egg. Didn't have any, didn't have much fruit. I don't remember much fruit. Did you get any treats of some sort? Any treats? Yes. Not really, no. Not really, because, because it, it was warm, you know, I mean, it wasn't a very nice time, so we didn't, didn't have any treats at all, really. What did you do for fun? Well, I was, I was born in 1940, which is just after the beginning of the war, so during, throughout the war, I was quite small, ah. you know. So the only fun I had was to play with other children. Um, on the estate where we lived, which was in Shepherd Bush, was fun. And uh, fun, yeah. That, and we used to listen to the radio. Mm -hmm. uh, we used to listen to the radio because there wasn't television in those days. And there was a, a program called Dick Barton, mm -hmm. special agent. He was like a James Bond. Also, Just William used to be on. Just William used to like that. Did you ever witness any houses getting bombed? Did I witness anyone getting bombed? Or did you witness just any bomb sites? I heard, I heard um, the bombs, obviously. I didn't actually see bombs land, but because they used to come over maybe at night time, but I used to hear them. I could hear, see the flashes and the lights and everything, you know. And uh, if we went out in Florin Bay, and uh, a couple of streets away, some places got hit, got flattened. Yeah, they got direct hits, I remember that. What was it like in the Anderson's shelter? Well, we didn't have an Anderson's shelter. Because an Anderson, Anderson shelter is a small one that people used to erect themselves in their back gardens. But the shelter we used to go in was underneath the ground in front of the flats that I lived in. And we used to go down a flight of stairs and I suppose it was hold about 30 or 40 people. And um, it had bunk beds down there where you could sleep if you could sleep, and um, we used to stay down there in the evenings. If there wasn't any bombing, mm -hmm. we wouldn't go down there, obviously, you know, but if, if the bombing got very bad, then we would. It wasn't very nice, it used to smell of damp concrete, because it's all made out of solid concrete, you know. Hmm. Well, it must have been terrifying if you were scared of the dark, I think. Well, it, it wasn't dark down there, they had lighting. But it wasn't very nice for people my age, you know, young children. But there we are. Hmm. Did any of the houses on your street or flat get hit? Not on our flats, but there were some there were some houses a couple of streets away got flattened. They got bombed. Hmm. And they used to we we lived near a couple of factories that used to make aircraft parts, oh. airplane engines and bits and pieces, and they they got bombed. I remember that, hmm. and I also remember the siren when there was a, a raid coming. You used to hear this siren. That was time to go to the shelter, 
and then we used to wait for the all clear, which is another siren but a different sound. What did your parents usually do every day? Well, my father was in the army. Oh dear. Father was in the army, but uh, my mother worked as a cleaner. She had a cleaning job hmm. in the bus garage. And my brother, um, he was a few years older than us. He, he was still at school. He was a schoolboy, but he was older than us. And he used to look after us during the day. Hmm. Well, here's a question that's not even on me. Did you even have tea back then? Tea? Yes. Yeah. But it was on ration. Hmm. It was on ration. Hmm. Everything was on ration. We didn't have any sweets. Didn't have any sweets. Didn't have sweets. Did you get evacuated to the countryside any time? I got evacuated, but not to the countryside. I got evacuated to Bath. Ah. Which is in the west of England. Hmm. And uh, we stayed there for a few years. And then I was also evacuated to a place called Stragglethorpe, oh. I think is in Lincolnshire. Is there anything else that, is there anything else that you remember? Yes, I remember um, everybody being friendly. Hmm. Neighbours and family, everybody is friendly towards each other because we're all facing the same problems, you know. We're all facing the same uh, troubles and, and looking after eyes and parts to each other. Hmm. Everybody is friendly those days. I remember once when I was um, in our flat, I went onto the balcony one day and I saw an aircraft, an aeroplane going over, I think it was a German bomber. And there's a, a plane, must have been one of our fighter planes, was flying after it, trying to shoot it down. That was in, in the middle of the day, I sat and stood on the balcony and watched that. So that was, that was better than going to pictures. These were other children on their balcony, you would have been like, ah, we're all going to die! <laughs> what are the odds of that? Eddie said, looking at the camera. <laughs> and are you ready for the final question? Yeah. How did you feel when the war was over? Oh, it was great. It was, it was fantastic because we were allowed out on, on the streets, you know, and uh, there was no more going down shelters, and uh, all the men and were coming back from the war, and then um, that was the first time I saw sweets, I didn't know what sweets were. And then, of course, we used to start getting better food, you know, more food and better food. Hmm. So more things like bread and better things. Uh, fruit, fruit. Hmm. Yeah, because we didn't have any fruit during the war, hardly. But because of my age, I didn't really realise what, what it was all about, you know. What we were doing, and the way we were living, to me at the time seemed normal, hmm. because that's what I knew. Hmm. So I wasn't really frightened. Hmm. I wasn't frightened. That was it. Hmm.